Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Let's just get down to it. W- welcome to Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Real life stories of inspiration, perseverance, and prosperity. Turn your radio up as loud as possible. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. I hope you have your teacups ready because she has the sugar. Nothing like a cup of brown sugar to sweeten my day. Now let's enjoy some Sweet Tea with Coach Key. Sweet Tea with Coach Key. to this week's episode of Sweet Tea with Coach Key. So this episode came about because I was actually going to do a video um, this week for my YouTube upload, but I thought, hmm, let me just do a podcast episode, and I may still do the video just to piggyback on anything that I happen to um, not mention. But I wanted to talk about... <sighs> the time in your life where it seems like everything is a no, a not now, you're not ready yet, you know, that season, that season when it seems like everything is just like not going your way. Um, You may have spent too much on something or something may have came up that make you dig dig into your savings or um, something came up where the opportunity that you was looking forward to excuse me, isn't going to be as lucrative as you thought, something, 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 something in that area. Um, and it seems like, man, like what in the world is going on? All this crazy stuff keep happening to me. And it immediate, when I thought about this, I immediately went back to the time when me and my family were driving down, driving down, um, the street obviously driving down. Where else you going to be driving down? We were driving down the street and, um, I think we're headed to like Walmart or something. And I, the police got behind me and he, as I went through the light, he went through the light and he followed me and he eventually pulled me over. In the midst of him pulling me over, I put my belt on. And when he pulled me over, he's like, you're not wearing your seatbelt. And even now, just thinking about that, like, I would not dare get in a car and not wear a seatbelt. Like, I don't even feel safe not to wear a seatbelt, but I'll get to that. <clears throat> but I'm just driving down the street, and my children didn't have their belts on, neither did my husband. But when he, when the police officer pulled me over and gave me a ticket for um, not having my seatbelt on, I had it on at the time, so that made it even more frustrating we were just cruising down the street, going to the store. I'm like, why are you bothering me? I was frantic. I was so scared um, because of all of the violence that was going on with officers. So I was super scared. This is when I was back home in North Carolina. It was not easy. So I um, I just remember that, that day and that experience, and it was crazy. So all in all, I, I what made me think about this experience was me being so frantic and so upset about getting this ticket. I tried to fight it. I tried, I contacted my attorney and he's like, look, this is not something that is going to be detriment to your license. It's not a big deal. Just pay it and move on. So, um, I paid it and I moved on. Well, because I got a ticket, I don't even remember how much it was, but, um, me and my family made sure that we buckled up. Well, Three weeks, maybe not two weeks after that, we were in a bad car accident and flipped two times. And when I look back, I could not help but think like, my God, that time when I felt like this is just so stupid, it's so aggravating, it's getting on my nerves. Why do I, like, this is not the time for me to be having no ticket. Like, I don't have extra money just to be giving them when I even had my belt on. Like, he seen me without it on, but by the time he saw me, I slid it on. Like, he didn't even see it. Like, he was confused. Like, when did you put your seatbelt on? And I told him, I was like, I, I had my belt on. He was like, you had your belt on. And I was like, yeah. But I still got a ticket. <clears throat> and I just cannot understand, like, why. Like, I spent so much time and so much energy fighting this seatbelt ticket. And I kept, like, essentially in my mind at the time, losing. Like, the the I got the ticket. I got pulled over. The attorney was like, I kept calling it's like, this is a waste of your time. I went to court. I had to pay it. Like, it was just like, ugh. But then two weeks later, when the, the seatbelt essentially prevented us from flying out the window when we flipped over twice, I couldn't help but thank God. And I just wanted to share that just in case you're in a season where it seems like it's a bunch of no's 
or is pushing you on another track that you really don't want to be on or that's unfamiliar, I just, I'm just encouraging you just to trust God in that season because it could all be for your good. I fight it and fight it and fight it and fought, 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 fought that ticket. But the reason for it was for me to get, for it to get my attention because he knew that I was going to be in a car accident. Excuse me, I took a sip of my smoothie. He also knew that that car insurance was going to change the tra trajectory of my life and also motivate not only me, but my whole family. We all wear our seatbelts. Now, that's not something that um, we play about now. In fact, I am more so telling other people, like, you cannot ride in my car without no seatbelt. So if you are at a time right now in your life where it seems like doors are being shut, opportunities are coming up um, as void, um, you just got a flat tire, that bill higher, um, I don't know, um, something, something pop up that was not to be expected. And you're like, I don't understand how this could make sense right now. What I'm saying to you is, trust God, be faithful, do what you're supposed to do, because he's one, going to get glory out of that. And he's two, going to get glory out of you trusting him in the midst of this aggravating season or experiences that you may be experiencing in your life. Keep your head up. Speak positive out your mouth. Spot positively. Uh, positivity out your mouth. <laughs> and also, keep your eye on him. Keep both eyes on him in the midst of injustice and unfairness. Because everything that you encounter in your life, the Bible says, will work for your good. Even if it doesn't seem like it is, it's going to work for your good. Trust him, believe his word, and enjoy the rest of your week. Take care.